Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about how to show greater context in an interview setting. Now, this is super important because a lot of the times interviewers don't 100% understand the situation and the scope and impact of what you've done. So even if you describe an example or maybe an achievement that you had, it's not really 100% clear to them because they weren't there and they don't really know if that was so good or so bad compared to other years or other people. So that's why it's really important for you to provide those things. That way you are better understood. Here are four quick ways to make sure that you are showing context. Number one, how did your performance this year compare to the previous year? Now this one is really good because uh, it helps paint a better picture of your trajectory and your growth in, in that company. Now, obviously if you hadn't uh, been at the company the year before, then maybe you, maybe you can't provide that context or it's still important actually, because you, know, you, can, you can say, yeah, this was my first year on the job and I was able to do this, this, and this. Or last year I did this, but this year I did twice as much even though maybe this year didn't seem quite as, as good in their eyes, you're painting context of, yes, I have, I have improved and I, I have grown. So make sure to provide the picture throughout time, not just today. Number two, how did your performance compare to your peers or your colleagues, right? So you're, again, you're comparing your, yourself now, not through time, but to other people. And this is really important because it shows how you did in a team setting, it also shows how you did across the company. And even if whatever you said doesn't seem so impressive to them, uh, to the interviewer, maybe when you say it in the context of, yes, I was able to do this, or I was the only person in the company that was able to do this, it sounds a lot more impressive. Number three, how did your performance compare to the plan? So every company has a goal or a plan or targets or measurables or deliverables that they have on a weekly, monthly, quarterly, biannual, annual basis. So you wanna make clear how you did in compared to, to that goal. That way the company isn't just looking at your specific achievements, but really looking at the overall uh, context of, of what you did in the company. And lastly, number four, how did your performance or achievements compare to the rest of the industry? So this one can be a little bit more tricky to find, but if you can, it really shows a strong sense of business and commercialism. So for example, if you were a teacher and your students did really, really well in your school district that year, how, how does it, how does it um, compare to other school districts? in the state or, or the country or wherever, right? Some of that information is gonna be public, sometimes it's not, right? Uh, but do your best to find out, and if you can plot your performance and achievements um, on a uh, industry or national scale, then that's gonna be really attractive for companies to get a much, much better picture of what you've done. So in conclusion, everything that you've done can really be compared to other people, other companies, um, you know, the industry, and all, all these things that I've mentioned. So make sure to have those ideas and that context in mind when you're going into an interview and your chances of being understood and succeeding in the interview go up tremendously. Good luck guys, and I will see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>